And welcome back everybody. I'm Marshner9. In this video, we're gonna level up so we can use our claymore for once. We need 16 strength to use it, so that's what we're gonna do. So we maxed our strength out for now. Uh, hmm. We'll level up our faith. We'll try to keep it even for now. Now we're gonna level the claim we're up a little bit. Uh, where's that? Mm, might as well use these two. Two thousand six hundred souls we need. Uh, two Titan Art shards. Wow. I guess we can't level it up yet, but. Look at this beast. Look at this beast weapon. I love it. Love it. So I should teleport him back to where we just left. Now what we have to do is we have to get a banner. And after we get the banner, we'll be able to do uh what's it called? The next area. I could have got the banner while I was doing the area itself, but you know. You don't know. I kinda wanted to beat that boss pretty bad, so that's kinda why. I think in like two or three episodes we will unlock the pyromancy guy, but let's figure, that's if we get a lot done in the following episodes. So this can be a pain, doing this part. That's why flamethrower guys up there, arrow guy I mean. A flamethrower. I'm really here to kill enemies pretty much and get an item, so. We do have to kill these guys up here, so let's make quick work of them. Come on, bro. Down. Come on, down. Come on, down. And see, we're still kind of weak, so I'm probably taking any chances right now. Uh, drink distance just in case we need it. Probably won't, but it doesn't hurt to use it. Him with that. Him with this again. Him with it again. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Did you drop anything for us? Oh, he did. Cool. Cool story, bro. Talk to her. Ah, a lovely to the forge of this it is if you feel an egg and the old What is wrong? I guess I can kill her and get go to an end game area if you beat the boss behind her. It's an extremely, extremely hard boss, so I don't really recommend it. 
But you can if you want. It's up to you. I can farm these nice for Titanite shards, which I might actually do off camera sometime. Not yet, but sometime. I'm gonna rest this bonfire real quick. Make our way to the next area. Raise the banner. The black screen of death's returned. And we'll skip the cutscene. We're here now. Just here. We're almost to the area I want to be in, so when we get there, it stopped in the plot and then some other stuff. up here real quick, grab this. This is an interesting area. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit when I say that. But for now, just go with it. I'm in love with the moveset of this weapon, so I picked it. Okay. Now, we want to get forward, but there's something back here. Now, if you kill the boss before talking to this guy, uh, he'll you won't appear. He'll be gone. He'll be dead. Kaboom. Uh, you need him if you're doing sorcery more. But he also gives you free level ups, which you can look into that yourself. There's some good sides to it and a bad side. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but that's the video for another time. But basically, it makes you look ugly. It's basically all it does. Not like you're doing that. Now we're definitely almost at the area I want to be in. So I'm gonna rest at this bonfire real quick. And we'll go on with our life. That's how I started throwing it before I saw the enemy that I locked one. I knew he was there, that's why I did that, but. Oh, there's a shield. It's in this room. These are little enemies. These guys are a pain. Just saying. Just saying.
That's really helpful. We'll need that in a little bit so we knocked it down. Grab this thing over here. Let's see what we can find in this area. Bring this flask real quick. Oh, yeah, I'll spam the lock one button. To make sure none of these things on the ground can attack you. If they do attack you in another area coming up. So I'm actually in the video here. We'll pick up here when we next video. Hope you enjoyed. Marshall, you're out. Peace.